Right. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Marian Lucas, and I'll be uh, hearing your cases today. When I call you up, and when I call your case, <clears throat> excuse me, and you come to the podium, please state your name and your relationship to the property. Are you the owner, the property manager, whatever the case may be? I will hear the city's side. I will hear your side before I make my decision. Okay, everybody understand? Yes. All right, and we're going to keep our masks on and over our nose, sir. And uh, <clears throat> I appreciate your assistance. So anybody who's going to testify, if you, if you can please stand and raise your right hand to be sworn in, please. Is she testifying at all? No. You're not saying a word? No. Yeah, swear, swear in anyway. Swear you in anyway. Have you been... Are you talking at all? No, nothing. Okay. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Very good. Thank you. All right. Let the record reflect that all have been sworn. Okay. The, the first case we're going to call is uh, case no, number SMA 2021, is ending in 2629. The property address is 2935 Bay. North Bay Road. It's uh, no, North Bay, Bay Road. Yes. Come on up right here, ma'am. Just, uh, I'm sorry, but before, I just want to give you this. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, wait for me. I'll explain. I'll explain the violation. I'll call you. Thank you. Those are the pictures of my trees. Okay. When they said that. Hey, hold, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Just tell me your name so it's on the record. Luciana. Cerminara Lilly. Okay, thank you. Inspector? Good afternoon. My name is Code Compliance Officer Gaspar Rodriguez. I am the custodian of records for this case. This is in reference to uh, SMA 20210 issued to 2935 North Bay Road for violating section 46-62, number five, pruning, tree pruning, is to be performed in accordance with ANSI 8300 standards and good horticultural practices, hacking, Pat racking, spiking, and other pruning activities that effectively destroy a tree are prohibited. Reference to violation was improper tree, uh, tree pruning. It was a first, it's a first offense, a $500 fine was implied. The violation was issued on, five, on May 25th, 2021. It was posted on the property, which is also the mailing address for the property, on the same day. And uh, this complaint came in via the uh, Urban Forestry Department. Okay. Can you tell me, um, so you're saying uh, the violation was issued because it was improperly pruned? Mm -mm. Uh, uh, give me one, so I'll go ahead and have Urban, Urban Forestry. He'll go ahead and he can get more detailed on it. Okay. What is your name, sir? Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Manuel Sanchez with the City of Miami Beach Urban Forestry Division, Tree Inspector. Uh, and uh, yes, so I uh, went ahead and I uh, performed the drive-by inspection of the trees and I have uh, evidence right here if you would like to take a look at the trees, how they look. Um, so we informed the uh, code compliance to please issue a uh, improper tree pruning violation, in which case we ask that the property owner uh, please provide along with the um, uh, uh, court hearing today an arborist report to uh, state the health and condition of the tree. Okay, can you show me, um, show her first and then show me some Yes, I know. Uh, okay. Was okay. perfect. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Let him, um, now I get here. You're not a gardener. I have it. Don't okay. Worry. Let's, let's, everybody just take a deep breath. They're going to put it in evidence so I can look at it and compare it to yours. Thank you. And that one? That's the same, that's another one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's two trees. Miss Lily, let me ask you a question. When did you take your pictures? 
uh, just uh, two days ago. You can okay. go, and uh, now it's even better. Okay. <laughs> Did you see these? Uh, can yes, you take I, a look? I drove by there. I drove okay. by there today. Yes, ma'am. You see, they don't go. Okay, so yours were taken on May 18th. I can sign it and date it, whatever okay. you want. That's um, my trees. Okay, you need to wait until it's it's your opportunity. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, so today it's in better shape. What are these? So, Your Honor, what you're seeing there is a tree struggling to survive. What we need right now, um, what you can see there is perfectly fine. It has all, all these leaves. We still need an arborist report to officially state the health and condition of the trees per code that the, they need to bring to these special masters. Okay. So, because visualizing, we, you and myself, we cannot Right. See this tree's health. Okay. An arborist is certified to you, uh, be able you, to. How about a horticulturalist? That's no. It's a ISA certified arborist. Do you know Stephen Van Blumenstein? Mm, not by name. Okay, I'm just saying because she um, submitted a letter. Oh, um, well, so these letters should have been provided to Urban Forestry right now. I cannot review this letter. It needs to be reviewed by the Urban Forester, who are is you an... Not a, are you not an Urban Forester? I am a certified uh, uh, FNGLA landscape inspector. The Urban Forester is the, uh, the city's arborist who will be able to read this... Uh, letter that you have there uh -huh. and be determined to come up with okay. a with a solution All right. for you. So she needs to this was submitted when when she submitted her appeal. Yes. Um so she needs to submit a copy of this to the urban forestry division, right? right. Yes, for right. review. That's right. Okay. And then if if urban forestry says, yeah, we believe this, this, then it's done, and this case will be closed, and that's the end of the story? So the fee, that's, I cannot, right. that's up to you because it's right. still a violation of improper tree pruning per the ANSI A300. Those pruning cuts are not, are not proper uh, uh, horticultural practices. Um, so that I cannot state, um, but yeah. If she needs to provide the arborist report to say if the tree is in, in uh, if it's effectively destroyed or not, is what we're really looking for in the arborist report. Right, because just and reading this, and I understand it's a horticulturist uh, and landscape designer, that I understand that it's not a quote unquote arborist, as you're saying. Um, it just says that most of the pruning was dead and diseased wood, is what this is saying. So, um, so, if I find today, so there's two questions. If I find today she's in violation, I issue a fine, it's done, right? Uh, no. She has nothing else to do. Uh, we still need the arborist report okay. because right now that tree is a hazard or maybe a hazard or danger. Of falling over. Yeah, because we don't know the health right. and condition. Right now, the tree is slowly deteriorating. Okay. Just saying, not in one year. Not in two years, not in three years. Right now, that tree just sprouted all of these these sprouts, these green. Can I get, I'm sorry. All of these. I'm gonna get. No, 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 sorry. no, no, no. Stop. I'm gonna give you an opportunity. Relax. Go ahead. It's sprouting all of these these green sprouts because it's trying to survive. <laughs> Trees okay. need their just leaves. Miss Lily, Miss Lily, please. Don't lie. Please stop. Uh, well, Thank you. Go trees ahead. need their leaves to survive. Mm. As you can see in the first pictures that I sent you, the whole tree was completely removed. The, the, all the leaves were completely removed. Okay, so, now, go ahead. on top of this arborist report, we are going to need a restoration pruning plan to bring the tree back to its original state. Uh, that's per if, code. If, in fact, it, the arborist says... It was fine the way it was cut because it protected the tree, cut off dead wood, whatever, whatever. Do you still need to have 
uh, a pruning plan. Yeah, because right now what, 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 what is happening is that tree is just sprouting all type of limbs all over the place. It needs right. to be correctly pruned. Okay. Yeah. All right, Miss Lily, go ahead. It's your okay. turn. First of all, I don't think he's a gardener. And secondly, it didn't get, uh, um, it didn't come before when my trees, unfortunately, were not well. So I had to do and pay a lot of money in order to preserve my trees, which I planted. I planted many years ago. And I love them, so that's what I unfortunately had to do. I had to cut it in that way because I wanted to preserve them. And I have the gardener. My garden is perfect. As I said, it's 41 years that I lived there. I, it was always perfect. And if you see the pictures, my trees are fantastic now. Thanks to what I paid, and thanks to my gardener. And you see that they didn't read the letter that I had to pay in, send, in, in order to send it to you. And they didn't go back to see how my trees are. Please. But, but you sent the letter to the, 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 the hold day, hold 27 on. of May. Yeah, you sent it to the clerk. I send it where they told me to send it because I have the paper here yes. and they said that to send it because I brought it. Where did you send I it? I brought it to me here and they said to send it at this address and that's what I did. Who, and who, they said, to who? To who? Who does it when tell I don't you have the glasses. Whatever they said here, I did it. But you have it, right? So reaches. I have and it. Then, right. They don't have it. So who cares? Well, I mean, if... <laughs> Okay, they, you didn't they, receive it. They, they're the ones that make the decision on the trees. Okay, I don't a, know from trees. If they didn't receive it, I'm so sorry. It means uh, that uh, an office uh, didn't send it. They were, I don't care. Because I sent it where here they said to send it. Okay, let me see what that says. Give it to me. If they say that I, 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 I wanted to kill them, just look at them. And then I have to pay a lot of money in order to, to have them good and nice. Otherwise what? If I have to pay, I planted. They are not original from Florida. So, you know, if I want to remove it, it's even as expensive. I don't have any problem. Well, I, I, I'm I, sorry, I, but I have to say that my garden is always perfect. You, and I have to tell you that it's very strange that they check something like that that they don't check. The uh, neighbor, they do not cut at all. Years and years and years that they don't cut their trees and uh, the, br the branches, nothing. So okay. just because I wanted to preserve my trees, I had the problem. It's Your Honor, also under that Sorry. code. Sorry. Section. It's just ridiculous. 46-62, paragraph, okay. under section 46-62, paragraph 5, section C, subparagraph 5, it also states no more than 25% of a tree's you living canopy shall be removed within Lily, one year's please. period. I'll repeat it again. No more than 25%. Thank you. Yeah, hat racking. They didn't know how my trees were before I had to cut them. It's useless that you say that I needed to cut this piece or that piece, it depends on the tree. You cannot write it down which which quantity I have to cut from my tree. If the tree is not well, up, down of uh, three inches, I'm sorry. No, Miss, Miss no, Lily, Miss Lily, Miss Lily, Miss Lily, Miss Lily. Anyway, please, doesn't please. matter, do whatever you want. Please. I brought you my trees and that's please, it. Please, I, I don't want to talk okay. anymore. Okay, because well, it's really let, then let me talk, let me talk. So, 
what I know that you have a letter from the horticulturist. What you need to do is have an arborist go and examine the tree. Why they didn't do it? From May, and the trees start immediately to to be green and fantastic. Uh -huh. We I are saw in, in, in October. Nobody it. came back. Okay. Sorry. So I have to still wait. You have the pictures. All right. Yes. Yeah, uh, Your Honor, uh, the, he would like to read the letter just to see what it says, even though he's not the one to fully analyze it. He just wants to read it to see what it says. And the trees are not native. So I can do whatever I want of these trees. I can even remove them. I planted and I removed them. No, but you can read it. You can take it over there and read it. That's fine. <coughs> That's fine, as long as I can just get it back for the file. Just give me a second to read that, please. So I can do whatever I want on my property, on my trees. No. I'm stupid that I had to pay in order to save them. Goodbye. They're not that native. I can do whatever I want on my trees. So instead, I have to be here and getting mad. Okay. I don't understand, really. Okay, well, let, let, me, let me just try to help you understand. There's a code of ordinances in the city of Miami Beach, and one of them has to mm. do with the protection of trees. Yes, hold native. On, hold on. Native. Hold on. So there's rules and regulations about how it can be trimmed, how much can be trimmed, and, and ways mm. to do that. So apparently the way you did it, it was everything was off the tree, all of the leaves and everything else. It was just stripped down to the barks or the whatever you call those branches or um, barks, um, and that's when they saw it. Okay, so it looks like it's growing back, but the concern is: is it stable? Number one, will it fall over? Is it in bad shape? It's in it's, perfect. Uh, it's my turn now. Um, you might believe it's in perfect shape, and maybe you know, but an expert such as an arborist, which is required under the exactly. code, yes. needs to go inspect it. So then it was inspected. No, your gentleman, Mr. Um, Mr. Bloomstein, Blo Bloomstein. Stephen. Stephen is a horticulturalist. It's different than an arborist. So what is going to be required is to get an arborist over there to examine <coughs> the tree and to see the health of the tree and whether or not it's, okay. it's in good shape. Now, you said, I'll just remove the tree. Mm -hmm. What does she need to remove a tree? Um, can hold I ask on, you something? Oh, yeah, I need on, to ask you something. Hold on one second. Uh, no, if I may, uh, Your Honor. Uh, so the two impacted trees within the front property, they must be evaluated by an ISA certified arborist and or a uh, consulting arborist. Health and condition must be evaluated. <laughs> the arborist must submit a report for our review that, the, that addresses the following areas of concern. Can the impacted trees have its canopy structure restored through a restoration pruning plan, or are the impacted trees damaged to the point that corrective pruning is not a viable option? And two, would the impacted trees require any additional remedial work, or are they effectively right. destroyed, okay. is, is, the, is what we require. So let me answer th this question, though. Okay. Is she able, if she so desires, to remove those trees? Yes. Hold on, ma'am. Yeah. So, and what does she need to do that? All right. That would be a tree removal permit. She would need a tree removal permit because now no. we need to replace. No, no permit. Ms. Um, it's mine. I don't need any permit. Ms. Li Ms. Lilly, Ms. Lilly, please, please. He's telling me what the code says. I have to follow the code. You have to follow the code. We have to follow the code. So she would need a tree removal permit even though they're on her property. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I have to pay for the permits, right? It's only money. We are talking about money here, not the truth. 
Or sorry. Or get an arborist to get what's needed under the code and have them submit it. If it's in good shape, then okay, right? Right, and the the, the restoration pruning plan brings yeah. the tree back. But now. That, that's what he's going to give to her as part of his report. And if I may add, if it is determined by the ISA arborist that the trees cannot be correctively pruned, the Urban Forestry Division will deem the trees effectively destroyed and an after-the-fact permit would be required. An after-the-fact permit of... Uh, a tree, an after the fact tree removal permit would be required. So, if, so if, that, the, uh -huh. if the arborist says, okay, the tree's in really bad shape, we got to get rid of this, whatever it says, got to go, go. Now it's effectively destroyed. So she can take it out and then get an after the fact, is what you're telling me. So or you're going to take it out and give, and she has to get an after the fact. No, she's going to remove the trees and replace the canopy for uh, the canopy <laughs> loss in her property. And so she's going to have to apply it's my property. She's going to have to apply for a tree removal if this is if the arborist report that she's right. going to provide says that the tree is if effectively If it says it's in great shape and she, yeah. and what she did was perfect and wonderful and da 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 then there's no problem. There's no problem. They just need to right. prune it correctly, hire that same arborist to do the restoration pruning plan. They yes. need it to be pruned in that way. You are not a gunner. You are reading you are reading whatever is written there. You are not a gardener. I'm so sorry. No, you are only reading. Miss, Miss you Lally, didn't Lally, look. Lally, you Lally. don't know. Hello. Yes, he's reading the code. He's reading the code I by know. which you must abide. No. So, yes. No. No. Because if my tree needed to be be cut a little lower. I'm sorry. I don't care whatever the the the, the law says because I wanted to save my trees. I, I in order to save my trees, I had to cut a little lower. I know. And in fact, it's fantastic. Okay. Now, this will be my just my speaking and nobody else's speaking. Okay. This is it. I'm done. This is it. So, I heard what both of you said. So I'm going to ask you, Miss Lily. You're going to have the choice right now, okay, of getting an arborist to go out and take a look at the tree and give the report to the city as to the condition of the tree. I don't spend any more money. Sorry. Or You can do that. Or I find that you're in violation of the code and I issue a penalty. That's money. You know what I mean? They I understand that. it's money. I so, I'm coming. sorry, I don't pay again to, to, for my tree. You just look at it. But you, un only but you understand that if you remove that tree... I do can whatever without I, a, I want you, on my property. No, if you oh, remove yes. the tree without a permit, you will get another fine. I don't want violation. to remove that, otherwise I didn't pay for cutting. But that's why I'm saying get an arborist to look at it. Okay, I understand. I have to Is that what you want to do? It's money. It's money. I understand it's money. But it's either that or you pay a fine and the violation stays. Come on. Which is the violation? I don't understand. There is no it's, violation. It's an adjudication. No of, violation. It's an adjudication of chapter. You want five hundred dollars? You will get them. Which okay, that's it. Five hundred dollars for the first violation. Oh, oh, but look at my trees. How I beautiful they are! Stop talking, please. <laughs> and if I find that, and if I adjudicate and find her, is is this done, or does it come back? It, it comes back because this is the first offense, and if she doesn't submit those reports that are needed, regardless, either saying that it's in, it's in uh, that the arbor. In forty-two years, you are bothering, you are harassing me. Okay, so, Mr. Inspector Varela, are you? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Are you going to join us? Yes, I just want to say. How do you say your last name now? Lily. 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 Let me. Hopefully, I can shed some light on this. Unfortunately, when you plant anything in the city of Miami Beach and the tree grows and matures, can I? 
Could... Too bad for me that I planted. Well, me... I bought it, I planted, I spent the money. I understand. For this, for harassment, you know what? Oh, I understand. But I, don't, you... I don't take care of my trees any longer. I don't care. As my neighbor, if you go there, strange, nobody said nothing. We're, look, the city is willing to work with you, okay? Can yeah. we work together on this to yeah. resolve it? We sure. don't want you to get upset. Yeah. We just want to work together so everybody's... No problem. It's fine. You want five hundred dollars? You it's can not get that. it. It's, it's not, not right. It's not the money. It's the principle. Okay. Yes, Let uh, Mr. I, Inspector go ahead. So it's not about the fine. The fine is just uh, an instrument to get people to comply with the ordinance. Okay? Okay. Once you plant a tree and it matures in the city of Miami Beach, it becomes part of the canopy for the city, which is you know oxygen and shade and so on and so forth. Mm. Okay. You planted some beautiful trees in your property. You want to maintain them. Unfortunately, yes. the way they were pruned was inadequate. Okay? Unfortunately. Who said that? Maybe. Wasn't Maybe. 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 But Maybe. But most likely than not, um, the expertise of the urban forester and their inspectors, you know, they are they don't know. trained. They're inspectors. Okay. They're not gardeners. Unfortunately. Sorry. They go with the, the centimeters. Okay. Well, let, me, let, me, let me just speak. Let me just finish speaking. Sorry. Unfortunately, when those branches grow back out, they're not going to be as strong as the original branches that were there. So what happens when the canopy grows out and the leaves grow out, it becomes heavier, which causes those branches to be, br those brittle branches to break. Yeah, and, and they were dangerous for my, uh, if you had the pictures before, it, they were dangerous for my <coughs> roof because they were almost dead on a certain uh, part. So we had, in order to save it, right. we had to cut it. Which is at the same <coughs> point. Uh, which is where you're going I with this, right? Get somebody to verify money. that. Right. Is that where you're going? Yes. Which is an arborist. Yes. Even to bring to 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 throw away the, all this mess, I had to pay. Okay. Why? To kill the, the trees. I understand that. But unfortunately, uh, I'm not sure who you paid. I, we can't verify. You know what the the expertise of the individuals that you paid yeah. to, to do so. Okay, my God. Okay, the only thing, and the unfortunately, the the individual who supplied you with that report is an horticulturist. Is that correct? Yes. That's not a, an arborist, which is a tree specialist, not a flower plant, so on and so forth. It's we are willing to, if you want to have a meeting with the urban forester of the city of Miami Beach, the inspector here, myself, or anyone in my department, we'll be more than happy to get together. If you want, if you could continue the case, where until we have this resolved, and at that point, we come to a resolution that we all agree with. Okay. Way to so I'm going that to... Is that some, someone <coughs> in your area go and check and look at the tree. Okay. That's it. This is what we're going to do. Finish. They're going to... Miss Lily, they're going to work with you. Okay? I'm to going to have a progress okay, report. Right I'm going to have a progress report back here on February 10th. Okay. Is February the right day? Yes. No, it's not. Wait. Oh, no. it's not. It would be the. Oh, that's right. We're on. That's building. February, it's once a month for code. Yes. A full day. So, February 24th? It's uh, January 27th. January 27th with code. Okay. So, and January the, 27th. And I would just say, it's not, a, like I said, it's not about the fine and so on. If we get this resolved, if we come to a resolution, okay. and everything works out, Miss, Miss Lily, let me finish. Then it's people. over. If we come to a resolution, and everything works out, and we're on agreement with, with, with what we require, okay. yourself as well as us. Fine. I have no problem, you know, requesting the honor to waive the okay. fine. That's not so, we'll be back here on January 27th, <laughs> unless... Well, we'll be back here on January 27th. January 27th. I have to write it down. I okay. Your Honor, for the purposes, since this was an appeal, January the hearing, uh, it would be a joint continuance so on the parties to continue the hearing to January 27th. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Joint continuance. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to share your information with Ms. Hogan? Okay. So make sure that you guys exchange information so that you can be in touch with each other and that you get on this because, you know, holidays are coming Thank up, you. so let's get it resolved as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, the discourse, uh, a lot for yes, nothing. I know. So yeah. That's it. We pay so much money in Miami Beach for what? For this, uh, for this? I don't understand. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank I'll you. see you again. All right, we'll see you again. Bye. Okay, next case, SMA 2021, ending in 2624, property address 601 Collins.
And what is your name, sir? My name is Rani Menashe. I'm the owner of the property. Rani Menashe. Spell it for me. M E N A S H E. A S H. How do you spell your first? Is it Rani or Rani. Rodney? Rani. R O N N I E? Yes. Okay, thank you. Rani. Okay, and you're the owner. Okay. Uh, welcome, Inspector. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Danny Hirado, Co-Compliance Officer, City of Miami Beach. This is in reference to case number uh, CC 2021-10820. Mm -hmm. At address 601 Collins Avenue, issued 520-2021, in violation of City of Miami Beach Ordinance, Section 70-87A2, mm -hmm. the owner or operator of any package store or food store selling alcoholic beverages show prominently post on the outside of each entrance and on the inside of the main cu customer exit of each package store or food store selling alcoholic beverages. A sign with contrasting letters at least one half inch tall stating the following. It is unlawful for any person to consume, self serve, or possess an open container of any alcoholic beverage on public place, alley, street, sidewalk, park, beach, or other such place within the city of Miami Beach unless designated such purpose by the city. Violators are subject to criminal <clears throat> huh? prosecution. Um, these are the case notes. What happened that uh, we did a proactive inspection on the store and what we found was that uh, he didn't have that sign. He didn't have, it, he didn't have the sign in the entrance or um, next to the register. Um, so we gave him a notice of violation. Uh, it carries a fine, a thousand dollar fine. Uh, his, uh, I think it was his son who signed the notice of violation. I'm sorry? Uh, his son signed the notice of violation. That's uh, Danny? Um, oh, no. Danny is the inspector. Shaw manager. Yeah, that's yeah he was the manager. Son. Son. Right, sorry his about name that. Shaw. Right. Okay. Um, and this was issued on May 20th, 2021? Is that Yeah, right? May 20th, 20, 2021. It's the first oh. offense. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Minash. Inspector came to my store a few times and he asked me a lot of things to do. I don't like your signs outside. I comply with everything that he's asking me to do. Yes, I did not have this sign because I just didn't know, not because I want to break any law or anything like that. The inspector was in my store a few times. He could have told me, Ronnie, listen, you're missing this sign. Please put it. And if he would do so, I definitely would have put the sign and not go just a $1,000 violation like it's nothing. Why? Why not come to me and say, listen, you're missing this sign and just put it. And if I don't comply, then it's a different story. But I, I comply with everything that he asked me to do. Just, how, long, you know, how long have you had this store? Uh, for five years. And you've never had an I never had that sign because I ne it, nobody ever came to me and said, listen, so I, it's my fault in, sorry, it's my fault in a way that I should know. But yeah. he, was, he was in my store a few times. Why not tell me? Why work against the businesses? This is what I don't understand. Why work against the businesses and not work with us? Is he can come to the store a few times, maybe five times. Ronnie, I don't like this sign. Ronnie, take this sign off. Did I comply with everything that you asked me to? Oh, uh, yeah, I did a progress yeah. check and uh, so, so he has he put me. the signs up. Tell me. Have you, tell me. Had, Hold on. Had, Say you, it again. Yeah, he, he has the signs up now. I did a progress check yesterday and... Um, the, the day after the, I, had I didn't the sign. tell him about the sign because that was the first time I ever went there. That for this violation, that was the first time. There was other violations after but, I started going for you other my stuff few occasions. Times. I mean, can, you, can you, we have you one come... person talk at one time, please? Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. You come to my store about the ATM sign. You want me to take it out? The ATM sign, which is a sign like that on the door. Okay, so. I mean, you know, this okay, doesn't so let make me any ask sense. Your question: Do you do you do you think that code enforcement? or the building department, or the parking department, or any other department in the city is responsible for making sure that the owner of each property knows the law and complies, and they should be there every, maybe every day and say, oops, you have some garbage on the street, you need to clean that up, or oops, you need to do that. Do you think it's their job to educate you and business owner in the city for five years, and you don't know the law, and it's subject to criminal prosecution, right? I mean, come on. Man, but, yeah, but no, but you're accusing the city. I'm not accusing anybody. Well, 
I'm just accusing you not, were... not working. I mean, he was uh, in my, he was in there a few times. So just, you know, let me know that I'm missing something. I didn't do it because I'm, I'm a criminal. I'm, I, you know, I didn't have that sign because I'm a criminal. I want to break any laws or anything like that. I'm it just, saying, you know, saying, things, things can slip, man. Things law. can slip out of, out of, out of the way sometimes. Yeah, you know, we're all human beings. So if he knows that something is wrong, why not tell me? Uh, I mean, I, I comply. I'll do whatever it's necessary for it to be right. When I went, it wasn't there. So that's that's so that's my point. Let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. The next time that something is wrong, and you get a violation, are you going to ask me the same thing? Why couldn't you tell me it was wrong? No, no, no. I, there is there is some things that I'm gonna. I, I'm go, I had to realize that I had to go and learn the law a little bit to find out if there is anything that I should put. Yeah, he he. He, he wakes me up to it, let's put it this way. The $1,000 that he wants to give me for violation wakes me up to it. So I'm just saying, listen, <laughs> you can't be throwing $1,000 like it's nothing, like we're collecting money listen, from the trees. Listen, he didn't make the law. I understand, he didn't I understand. Make it. But None he, of those inspectors made the law. The I city commission but, made the but, law. But they can, but they can work with the, they, they can work definitely much better with the with the business owner in town. We are not only problem in Miami Beach, like everybody wants to say that the, oh, the businesses yeah, is the problem in Miami Beach. That's a whole different story, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Yeah. How are you, Ron? Inspector Varela. How you doing, Your Honor? Um, doing great. Thank good. Thank God. Let me ask you a question, sir. You have a liquor license in the state of Florida? Yes. Okay. Did they advise you about the signage? When you received your liquor license? I don't know, sir. I don't you have it's, a, been, it's, been, it's been a while. You know, it's a requirement by state. Excuse me? It's a state requirement. Okay. So it's very important that that sign is up as well as you. I, I, I agree. I agree. I'm not saying it's not important that You've the sign would be there. I mean, you know, I just, just didn't saying. have them because it was... How long have you been in business? With the, in that That's business? still five years. Five so years. Five. So five years. <laughs> you, haven't, you didn't start yesterday. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure that it wasn't there like for the whole five years. Maybe we, I did some innovation and the sign moved or something. I'm sure I, it's not like I didn't have it for five years. Mm -hmm. The day that he came, it wasn't there. And it, it wasn't there. The day he came, it wasn't there. But he didn't, for take sure. it, he didn't take it down. No, no, for sure. For sure. That's for sure. Come on. We're not playing games. I'm just here. saying is that, yeah. you know, you come here and you, you seem very a little aggressive. So uh, so no, no, no. I'm not aggressive at all. And no, uh, we're just saying. I, 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 I comply there. whatever. Oh, no, finish, whatever the finish. judge is going to say. Let me I'll, I'll, I'll comply. Whatever. The officer went there. He inspected the property. You did not have the signage up. He issued the, the appropriate violation, and now we're here because you, you wish to appeal it. And you're going to tell your side of the story, and the officer told his side of the story. Okay? So we, there's nowhere else to No, no, forward. there's nowhere else. Whatever the right. judge is going to say, so, say. So whether, I mean, it's your responsibility, as you know, to know the law. And as the inspector said, it's a state law. Every store that sells alcoholic beverages needs to have those signs up. State law. So it could be the state comes in and says, oh, we didn't have the signs up. Now it's a criminal prosecution and lose your license. You didn't lose your, your liquor license. No. Good thing it was him and not somebody else from the state, right? So you're lucky. So I'm going to deny your appeal. I'm going to find that you, you did it, but I'm going to reduce the fine to $500. Thank you. Okay, so how long do you need to pay that? 30 days? Yeah, 45 days? 30 days. Is because you're going to get an invoice in the mail and then ah, pay so it. So let's do it 40 days. that will be easier. How many? 45, 45. Okay, so that's by December 14th, 2021, okay? Okay, sure. Um, so just do what you need to do. Okay, for sure. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Honor. Okay, the next case is SMA 2021, ending in 443, uh, address is 610 Lincoln. Hello, Your Honor. Hi there, what's your name? My name is Rami Kudir. What is it? Okay. Sorry, Rami, first name, last name Kudir. Rami? Rami, R-A-M-Y. Rami, and the last name is K-H-U-D-I-R? Yes. A-H-U-D-I-R. And you are the? I'm the general manager. General manager. And you are, ma'am? I'm his wife. I'm also a manager. Okay. And what is your first name? My, my first name is Rima. R-I-M-A. Okay. And his la and the same last name? Yes. 
Okay. All right, manager. Okay, so this is a new code sanitation appeal. Inspector. City of Miami Beach Code of Compliance Officer Nero Bogovan. Your Honor, I received a complaint for um, illegal dumping to the back of this location. When I came out, the dumpsters were overloaded. There was food and grease uh, throughout the alleyway. So I issued a fourth with, and uh, sanitation came out and they cleaned up the area. Um, I have photos that I'd like to submit. Yes, if you can show them to them. How much is the fine for? I think it's... Um, and first defense, please. And the sanitation pickup fee. Yeah, we'll find out in a sec. Yep. The fine is a thousand. Is this their first defense? Fine a thousand. Yeah, the yes, that's phone. what I, I'll need. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to look at these pictures and then I'm going to, so just wait for one second. I want to see the pictures and then we can okay. talk, okay? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, let me see what we got here. What kind of business do you have? We have a restaurant. A restaurant, okay. Are these your dumpsters? These, re these dumpsters belong to the landlord. We are the tenant. Hmm. And they belong, to, like this dumpster is for the whole building. So the whole building has this dumpster. And all the dumpsters are in the same place yes. for the whole building? Yeah, in the back, that's a, like a back alley. Uh -huh. uh, behind Lincoln Road, there's like a back alley and right. all the dumpsters are placed uh, there. So, so garbage pickup is when? So I believe it's twice per week. I'm not sure like exactly which days, but it's like twice per week. Okay. So Inspector, I, I'm yeah, sorry, go sorry. ahead. No, no, I just wanted to say that because of COVID, the times changed for the company. So I'm not sure exactly. I think it's one or twice a week. So. Okay. All right. Inspector, were all of these um, boxes that are smashed and in these dumpsters, did they all belong to this company? They were. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if they were all the produce boxes, but they did look like uh, food boxes. And there was food throughout the alley. And it's reeked of food because it was hot. Okay. The alleyway also had grease in it. So um, they are the restaurant, the only restaurant in that building. Okay. And your honor, uh, for violation SV 2021-16, uh, 14683 in the first offense, the full fine is $1,294.50. So pickup so costs were $294.50. Okay. And the fine itself is a thousand. Yes. Okay. So you know, one of the pictures that you gave me looks like um, there's food smashed on the floor. It looks like um, I'm looking at page five of seven. It looks like that was you know maybe dumped. What day was this? Was um, what day was this? May twenty six, twenty twenty one. And these pictures were taken on May 26, 2021? Yes. Or were these pictures taken on October 27th? No, these, these pictures were taken um, May 26th, the day the violation was issued. And you printed uh, them May out. May 27th date is just uh, how it comes out when we print it from the case file. Right. Excuse me, at what time were those pictures taken? Um, 7.28 around at night. No, this was a uh, 4.45 p.m. No, but the pictures, like the, the actual pictures. I'll tell you right now. Um, I don't see that picture. I guess that's the, the cleanup crew was there at It was taken at 3.02 p.m. 3.02 p.m., yeah, okay. Okay, um, what time do you open? So we open at uh, 11 in the morning. Uh-huh. And um, so... We have a, like, there's a big problem in that alley because we're not only the only restaurants there. Uh, we, we are a restaurant there and there, we have a neighbor as well. 
And there's a crisis going on in that back alley because that back alley is always, uh, it doesn't have lights. And uh, so there's stuff happening right there. Like every time we go out to the back of the alley, we find fridges, couches. We find like homeless people, you know, doing necessities right. in the street. And all our employees are trained to put all the bags inside the containers and close the containers. The problem is that there's no way of knowing who is the person who opened the bags. Because if you see the pictures, there's like food in the street. Right. But the, I mean, it, it's not our employees because they're trained to put the... Let me the, ask you a question. Um, do you only use one particular container? The, the green container that belongs to the building, the one that you see in the picture, the, one, the waste management container that belongs to the building, and that's the, the only one we have for the whole building. But the building is occupied right now, and uh, we dump our trash there in that container. Everybody in the building? Yeah, everybody in the building, correct. Would, would this violation not go to the landlord, the owner of the building, since it's his dumpsters? And he's the one who, who provides service to those dumpsters? I believe has the that contract with the waste man who who pays for waste management? The you? landlord. Yeah. In our lease agreement, do? our uh, like the trash waste and everything is included with our lease. So the landlord take care takes care of Okay, you pay for it but he schedules it. Exactly, yeah. He takes it. Do you know what the schedule was then? No, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's maybe once or twice a week, but I'm not okay, sure which but day. I need a day. You don't know the day. I'm not sure. Okay. To answer your question, Your Honor, they're both jointly and severally liable with sanitation violations. If it's identifiable to this particular tenant based upon the inspector's testimony, it would be the tenant's, you know, the, the garbage that was put into the trash dumpster that ended up back on the street. But there are some boxes there, if you can see the picture that he sent, there are not food boxes. They are belong maybe to clothing stores or stuff like that, if you see there. They're none of the companies that we use to work with. I mean, there's. do you get pallets? Do you get food on pallets? No, we don't. And I have a picture where you can see there's a couch in, the, in that alley. I took a picture of the couch. Somebody dumped the couch there. So I don't want to be accused of dumping a couch in the back of the building because... No, you weren't... You were, you were, um, Sorry, I just, I just wanted to say something, like even though we're the only restaurant in the building, our neighbors, which are like literally next to us in another building, they're also a restaurant and we've had some issues with them sometimes using our, our dumpster, yeah. dumpsters. Um, yeah, I, I also have like several pictures in the management group when our employees send us pictures of bags open, you know, maybe homeless people or somebody open them, I can show you the dates of those pictures and they're like even before the, the fine. So you can see that we were already struggling with this issue, but it's something like goes beyond our, our hands. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's an issue. It's a problem, I know. Your um, Honor. I guess my only concern is, is that, you know, if there are, Inspector, you weren't able to identify all of the boxes it looked so, like because there yeah. was food on the floor, which I see. It's, it's yeah, that's that's the main reason the fourth with was issued because of the smell and the fourth uh, the food all over the the alleyway. If it was just the boxes, we would do a twenty four hour illegal dumping right. and contact them to have it like compacted, break down the boxes, unless put it away, etc. Unless et there were other boxes yes. that belonged to yes. somebody else, which you didn't look at yes. because of the situation. And yeah, the there's food caked, and the alleyway was flooded with water and like oil at the same time you're on the um, sorry also if they're having this issue with neighboring restaurants they can also get a locking dumpster I was so no say, one I was can uh, no that. one can dump into your your the, but, container but remember that they as part of their lease sanitation and, and the garbage pickup is part of their lease so it's the landlord that gets the dumpster for the entire building for which he co collects lease payments, right? Money through the leases. So I don't think they have the control over that so, unless you tell the landlord that you want your own dumpster and he's probably not going to give The problem is there's no space in the back of the room to put extra dumpster. We could ask and I don't think they will agree to lock the dumpster because we have neighbors who need to access to it so as well. 
The resolution to that would be to talk to your property management company or the owner of the, the building, yeah. whoever yeah. you guys talk to. And when they lock the dumpster, they can provide each tenant in the building with a key to go down. When they go down, they unlock it and they dump That the, could uh, be a solution. We need to discuss it with them. But in this case, what I wanted to know is that we want to be very cooperative with the city. Our staff, our service came out with the officer and offered their help. They said, oh, we didn't see it. I, we don't know when this happened, but we can help. We started to clean. They started to clean in front of him and he saw it. And uh, they called us and we were very appreciated with our employees because it was not their job, but right. they were cleaning and everything to help, you know, because we understand that this uh, it's an issue for everybody. We hope there was more, you know, uh, patrolling in that area because crime is happening and stuff. So we're sorry about what happened and we're gonna try to find a solution for that. So one of the solutions is a good one is to give everybody a key. We're gonna talk with the landlord to see if they agree, but uh, sometimes it's not of uh, our control because maybe they say, we don't want to spend money or whatever, um, right. but I'm going to tell them, hey, the city can violate you because I'm, I'm, right now I'm having a violation that is not mine. It's supposed to be for, for them, I think. But. Well, it's for, it's for both, but jointly and severally means either one or the other or both. So you're the one that was chosen. You're the chosen, chosen. one because <laughs> it was a lot of food uh, product yeah. that was there. But we have a picture where it can be seen that... Uh, one of our bags, because we put all the trash in black trash bags, you know, uh -huh. and we put them inside the containers. So there's one picture that we have that the bag is in the floor and it's open. I understand, but it's still your bag. But Under the, the city, it's still your bag, which I, means yeah. probably, and correct me if I'm wrong, Inspector, but it's still his bag. Yes. Correct. So I think what you need to do, too, is throughout the day, have somebody go out there, and if it's your stuff... Pick it up and throw it in the dumpster again. That's He's right. The problem is our employees somebody. are working in the sure. front, so we can we could. I mean, from time to time, send. But the problem is, if the officer comes at a time where the employee is not there and something happens, then that falls out of our responsibility because we're trying to do it, but we cannot have like somebody policing 24 uh, hours to see. No, if I'm not saying 24 hours, but you need to have you know have somebody going around and on most a of the stuff basis happened overnight. and work if, with the city on if, that. If it's just a bag dumped outside, we won't issue a fourth with. We'll give you guys time to comply. Well, but if it's open and there's food yeah, thrown all over, that, then you're, you might do a, when, you yeah, might do a fourth with. In this case, with. we offered to clean and our employees clean, but we didn't get the chance like to remedy the situation. We just got the violation. So I've, Understood. So I, I think, you know, maybe you just have a discussion with, with the inspectors but and let them know that you know, every two hours or whatever it is, you're going to have somebody policing to make sure that your stuff is in the dumpster. Even if it was taken out and somebody, um, you know, a homeless person or somebody who needed it or something like that, a cat, came and opened and, and you know, put everything all over, at least the city knows that you're doing something on a regular basis. So that the, time, the next time the inspector comes, he's going to go, hey, you know, when was the last time your guy was out or your, your, your woman worker was out? Right. What's going on here? So just talk to the city about that. And try to do that. Get the landlord to do what you need to do. Yeah. In terms of, for example, people dumping, like, literally, like, sofas. And I have pictures, but I don't want to, like, get blamed of that. Like, so, well, listen, so to if, you don't wanna, if you don't want to be charged with it, so, you, need, you need to keep proof that it's not yours okay. and let the city know. Yes. That's not mine. Mm -hmm. And the, all the boxes in the dumpster that, that say, you know, whatever store is there, say, hey, that's not mine. It's falling out. It's too full. I can't fill it. We, we have other container that's specifically designed for boxes. We, you know, cut the boxes and put them inside. So that's why those boxes are not ours, because our staff, they know that they need to break the boxes and put them in that container. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Also, Your Honor, I just wanted to say that if, if you would like to see any evidence, we have videos, for example, of our employees saying that this grease is caused by, like they were complaining about at the other restaurant, you know, like cleaning. And well, I, those are some of the things that you need to share with the city inspector. Okay. You know, if you have things like that, call the call the inspector and say, look, could you come over here? We have some issues going on. And they can help you take care of those issues so you're not the ones that are being charged with it, right? And everybody else in the city should do the same, you know, other businesses as well, to protect yourselves and, and financially protect yourselves, right. right? So this is what I have to do. Um, 
I'm going to deny your appeal. So I'm going to find out that, I'm going to say that, that, that it happened. But I'm going to waive the fine, but I, I have to charge you for the sanitation pickup, which is $294.50. Okay. Okay? Thank you very much. But from now on, do what you need to do. Have somebody rove. Talk to the city. Get, okay? And yeah, we need to cooperate <clears throat> so to avoid the situations in the future. For I understand. Sure. Thank you. And also, right. you guys can contact your property manager or ten, uh, landlord and ask them to increase the frequency of pickups that you guys have. Have the container emptied more often throughout the week so you don't run into this issue. Right. Thank you very much. Thank no you. problem. Um, when, when do they need to pay the 294 Oh, when do you want to pay it? How long? Uh, 30 days is good for us. Okay. What day is that? Um, day November is 29th. Okay, you'll get a, a thing in the a invoice in the mail. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, okay. Um, what did I say? Uh, November twenty nine. Um, two more one thirties. Number twenty four and number twenty seven. Okay. Thank you, Inspector. All right, number twenty four. All right, now I'm now calling SMA 2020, ending in 2320 for 1650 James <coughs> Avenue. Uh, notice went to the Albion Hotel, Jason Rubel, um, at um, Lincoln Road, some, somewhere on Lincoln Road, Suite 201. I can't read it all. They requested a continuance. I granted it in July for today. So somebody, I believe, was here. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. 311 Lincoln Road, number 200. Is that right? I mean, uh, sweet, 200. Let me see. That's it. Your Honor, Joshua Gehring. I spoke to um, Enrique from the hotel earlier. He said um, he has an email here. It says uh, he tried calling the city earlier. He said he was not going to make it. Say it again. I have an email from Enrique Valencia, the managing director for the hotel, advising that he tried contacting the city early in the day, saying that he was not going to make it to today's hearing. All right, state your name for the record. Joshua Gehring, CMI Beach. Okay, so... Um, And and did he say why? Two thirty. Uh, sick, right. homesick. That's it, homesick. And this was what? What kind of health hazard or nuisance? Yeah, forthwith. Thousand so, dollar fine and pick a fee as well. So it's already been taken care of. Yep. It's, it's no up. longer a, okay because I continued him from July. From yeah. July. Yeah. All right. So I'll grant it. This is the last um, continuance. Um. What's going? I, I missed what's happening. This also is a, a code, so January 27th. Um, I'm granting his request for continuance. It is the last one in this case. And uh, it will be reset for January 27th, 2022. Right? Um, thank you, yes. Inspector. No problem. Thank you. Um, Inspector, what was his name again? Enrique what? Enrique Valencia. Valencia? Yep. All right, thank you. And what is okay. that for? Enrique Valencia is who? He's the general manager. Okay, so I guess the last case we have is... Um, SMA 2021-2640 for 1369 Biarritz, and um, they've requested a continuance as well. This is number 27. Let me see what we're ha what's happening here. This is another tree. Hi. Hello. This is another, oh no, this is keeping This is one. Mr. Clucky. This is Mr. Rooster. Clucky. 
to Mr. Huh? King. Not the same thing, oh, wait. <laughs> no. Afternoon, Your Honor. It's another Mr. Clucky. <laughs> so, Clucky. so there's, there's a uh, request for continuance uh, filed uh, October 18th. Well, it was received by the clerk on uh, October 18th, and it's from uh, Greg Tonillo, Esquire. Um, undersigned is not available because of a court conflict in Key West. Reset the matter for the second week in November, if convenient. Um, okay. So, obviously, the, the second week in November. So, is this um, a rooster? City of Miami Beach Co-Compliance Officer Mindy Blanco. Um, I'm aware, aware of the continuance, and the city's okay with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this will be on January 27th. Is that right? Yes. So is the rooster going to remain and bother the neighbor? Is that what, the, what this is all about? Correct. So it'll at least be there until January 27th, 2022. <laughs> Hopefully not. Christmas morning. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. All right. Is that it for 1.30? Yes, we oh went 2.30. I feel like I'm, everything is there. I'm, um, I'm going to need her case number and their case number. Oh, it's in the same order. Never mind. <sighs> Thank you, Kenny, so much. You're the bee's knees. Yeah, well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Which was the young lady? She was this one right here? 2650. Oh. Okay, 2650. Thank you so much. And this is 44. 34. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. And. Okay. I don't have a. Oh. In order. This first. That's the first one. And you've got. Okay. Um, Let me write them down? No, call them. Call I'll them. just call the first one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody, for those who weren't here. My name is Mary Ann Lucas, and I'll be hearing your case today. So when I call you up to the podium, please state your name and your relationship to the property, owner, tenant, property manager, whatever the case is. And uh, then I will hear testimony from both the city and from you before I make my decision. Okay? Any questions? All right. If you're going to testify, please stand and raise your right hand to be sworn. If you're going to talk to me. I think the inspectors... Oh, no, not you. Okay. Whoever hasn't been sworn, raise your right hand, sir. Okay. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? All right, let the record reflect. All present have been sworn. You may sit down. Thank you. Okay, the first case we're going to call is uh, SMA 2021 ending in 2614. It's number 31 on our calendar on page 15. That's you. That's the case number you gave me, dear. This is for 210 23rd Street? All right. All right, hold on just a moment. And uh, do we have a, an inspector? Is neighbor still here? Um, sir, what is your name? A Christian Bedoya. Christian? B-E-D-O-Y-A. B -E -D -O -Y -A. B -E -D -O -Y -A. B boy, E as in Edward, D as in David, O what? as in Oscar, okay. Y as in Yankee. It's very fast. B-E. D-O-Y-A. Bedoya. And you are? A tenant. A tenant. Did you That's a restaurant. Did you receive the violation? No, necessarily. It was uh, placed on the door. Okay. Inspector. City of Miami Beach Code Compliance Officer near Belgovin. Uh, Your Honor, we received this violation. Uh, we received this complaint for bags of food behind this restaurant. Uh, there was a huge pile of garbage bags to the back of um, this building. It's like sandwiched between two other buildings so you have to walk around the pathway so we, we wouldn't have seen it but a resident that lives in the neighboring building called us um i do have photos to submit into evidence of the pile of bags and 
it was referred to sanitation for a pickup it was a fourth width okay. and this is your restaurant yes uh, the, uh, let me mention the restaurant has been uh, yeah i can see it the restaurant has been closed for a year uh, since march 2017 when the city mandated the restaurants closed and uh, we closed and reopened and trying to reopen again and what happens is that i had a wait, person wait hold on when did you reopen well no, we had not reopened yet so you closed on march 17, 17 2020 and you're still closed yes okay all right go ahead the old parent rent go ahead Okay, so the issue is that we have, uh, I had a gentleman who is the, in charge of cleaning to go and clean the restaurant and, and throw a away a bunch of food that was getting spoiled because the restaurant was closed and during pandemic we were not able to do so. And I had called the week before he went to um, do the cleaning uh, waste management to bring the containers so that he can deposit the everything that he was cleaning, which I have a contract here. The the infraction he was given to me on the what day was that? May sixth. May May fifth. May fifth. Uh, you have a contract here from May four, meaning that I, I did my due diligence. Uh, waste management were not uh, for some reason or other, they were not able to deliver on time, and that's the reason I got that um, that infraction. But I did everything is uh, by law, I meaning that I call waste management so they can bring the container, so they can throw away what they were uh, discharging from the kitchen. And I have the contract here. Do you want to see it? So, so this is garbage that was in the back. Uh, the cleaning person uh, put it with the where the container is supposed to be. Which is where? In the back. Okay, right. So the, all of the all of the bags and everything were in the back of the building, Inspector? Yes, they were in the back of the building. And so why is this picture in the front of the building? What is this? Is this supposed to be here? With, with the garbage bags? Yeah. Oh, that's when sanitation moved all they the moved trash the from front. the back to the front so their crane truck could come and pick it up. Okay. So uh, you were closed from 2020 and then in May, no, uh, that was, uh, yes, we were closed since 17 or March 2020. And, um, and so we, you still had food in the restaurant and everything correct. Until, until this year? May. Correct. Uh, and refrigerators, not outside. Of so course. practically, uh, we were in negotiations to reopen. So I sent somebody who is in charge of cleaning the restaurant to do the work. I called waste management, who had given a service for the past seven years to to. Uh, you know, bring the container because they have taken it away. We were not aware of that uh, to the cleaning when, persons. When did they deliver the the uh, dumpsters? Uh, they delivered on the four. No, you said you signed the contract. On, on the, the four. yeah, but uh, we had the 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 thing is that we had the relationship with the the company. They have been doing giving us service for seven years, and that property. So uh, we called in. And I had to sign the document, which I signed it the day before I got this. Uh, this, uh, you want to see it? No, I'm asking you. When did the dumpster actually get to the property? Uh, on the fifth. Okay. And probably hours before this happens. Well, this was issued on the sixth. Actually, the pictures are taken on the sixth. Uh, you know what, did you, uh, the same issue that you have with the previous gentleman, you need a key to come in, and they were looking for a key or something like that, so they had the container outside, the, the cleaning person, not very bright, uh, just start putting things there, he never thought of putting it inside the container, so that was kind of an issue. There was no key to come in the back. Okay, so, Inspector, am I wrong? So, the photos of the violation the actual violation was taken uh, May 5th at 4.28 p.m. The photos of the cleanup was taken on May 6th, okay. the day after. Those are from sanitation. Okay, so that's sanitation. So I don't see any pictures of the 5th. Um, Let me see. I'll tell you which one it is. Give me one second. On page 6 of 14. Oh, I see. Well, that looks like it's your stuff, right? Did you see this picture, sir? What pictures? Page yeah, I see them. The one, so that's your stuff? Yes. 
So they put it out on the 5th, but nothing happened to it except that it sat in the it sat in the alley. Yeah, but it, it, the thing is that I'm trying to show you the signed contract on the 4th, and I think you should see it because it specifies, you know, I did my, my due diligence, so this doesn't happen. And it did. So the only the reason that I pay the extra money instead of paying the fine is first of all I don't want to have a fine, and second of all, I have a contract here that I signed with waste management on the four before I got uh, these things uh, happen to us. So uh, I believe the business are difficult enough to, at this point to you know just because of a, a miscommunication to so, keep getting so, fines. So let me let me ask you if this is the correct timeline. You sign a contract with waste management on the 4th. Correct. For them to bring out a dumpster. Correct. Your guy goes on the 5th. No, he, he was takes, working, yes. Takes everything out, or on the 4th yeah. as well, right? Yeah, Take but he takes out everything on the 5th. Everything's out in the alley. Looks like a, a big pot full of stuff. Who knows? Maybe not closed all the way. And then leaves it there because there's no dumpster. And then on the 6th, at 12 in the afternoon, something along those lines, noonish, the city's there and has to clean up. So, and I don't see a dumpster yeah, a so, anywhere. Yeah, but at the end of the day, is is the fact is they they did this on the six. I signed a contract on the four. The uh, container is there on the fifth. The thing is that they have, they need a key to come in, and uh, and the key was not nowhere to be found. So uh, is, finally, is, they is the container with the yellow top. Is that what you're telling me? In, uh, in that that's a ninety. That's, that's a ninety-six gallon toter, and I don't see that fitting all of this debris. Can well, I see, uh, let me see your contract. Let me see your contract. Let me see your contract. Let me just take a look at it real quick. So they ordered a one to two yard back of restaurant two times per week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, no recycling yet, restaurant closed. Okay. This is not this is not a contract with waste management. Yeah, it is. This is a permit application. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. I uh, apologize. For the, <laughs> city, for the uh, city to approve it. Your Honor, also, just so you guys know, um, this violation is the first offense, and the pickup fees for this violation is $629.25. Six what? Say it again. $629.25. And the fine amount is 1000 Yes. So do you have the... Waste management contract? Yeah. If, if you give me a second, I apologize. Can I say something, Your Honor? But let me, let me just understand. This is a permit application for garbage. And that goes from waste from wherever his service hauler is to our sanitation department, which will uh, automatically develop a inspection for us to go out there and make sure that the space is appropriate for what they are asking for. So it's not a contract. Would they have delivered, <clears throat> hold on, sir, would they have delivered a container on the 5th? No, not unless we did the inspection to say it's fine for them to put a container out there. But that's the, the real question I have is this, Your Honor. If you instructed your employee to go out there and clean your kitchen, why didn't you instruct your employee to wait until the container was there? Because, because I'm I, not going to instruct. I, I, I have, I, and at the end of the day, you're doing your job, I'm doing mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to do mine by calling this company, thinking that they can proceed and bring the container. I'm not trying to, you know, pull a fast one on you or get fine. Say that. Yeah, no, you implying in that. No, I'm not. Oh, no, yes, no, you no, are. No, no. I'm asking you because if I had to do that job, I would not instruct my personnel to say, just go and dump it out there. The container's supposed to be out there because I have a contract. 
No, sir. The container. Sorry, Hold no, on, let me finish. Let me, let me, fin let me finish. Not let right. me finish. That's not right. No, let me finish. You're not, you're, not talking, you're not saying anything right. That's it's nice. logical for the container to be there before you start dumping garbage out. Yeah, and I thought it was going to be there before he started dumping garbage out. But it wasn't. Okay, so that was a, that the reason I'm providing a, a information in which I can prove that I did my process before you but came sir, into it. So, but, Mr. Listen, There's, we, we just need to, to take a deep breath here. Listen. What you showed me is an application for a permit to have the dumpster. You've been in business for seven years, you said, and you've had a relationship with this The company. business closed. The business closed, ma'am. Uh, sir, okay. may I finish what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, go ahead. I did not interrupt you. Whether it was closed or open didn't matter. You had a relationship, as you said, with this company for seven years, so you were able to call them. But there's still the process to follow, which you should know since you've been in business for seven years or more, I don't know. Um, this is a request for a permit for a dumpster. The dumpster was not there. The, the fact of the matter is, and let's just cut to the chase, the fact of the matter is, I know that you were trying to clean out your, your restaurant because you're still not open and look, it's been over a year since it was closed though all your food was refrigerated, hoping to reopen. I get that. But nonetheless, even though you requested a dumpster on the 4th, there was no way it was going to get there on the 4th or the 5th, maybe, maybe the 6th, I don't know. But on the 5th, all the garbage was outside. It doesn't look like there's a container anywhere near there. So it was never delivered, and he left it outside, and it had to be cleaned up and it was cleaned up the day after, so that's the sixth. That's the bottom line. Am I right? Yeah. So, that's okay. the bottom line. Right? So, um, you know, he, he... So, it happened. So, I'm gonna deny your appeal. Um, I'm going to reduce the fine for you. I know it's been a, a, a tough year for everybody. So, um, so the fine is going to be $300 plus the pickup. So the total is going to be nine twenty nine twenty five. Do you think that is excessive? Well, the pickup, I, I don't have anything to do with That's what sanitation charged. I can't lower that. That's, that's, that's their charge for the time that they spent cleaning up. Um, I have reduced the $1,000 fine to $300. So the total, the, the highest part is that the fact that sanitation had to come out and spend $629.25 picking it up. No, I had to spend $600 something. No, you do, right, up. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, worth of time is what I meant to say. So, so how long do you need to pay that, sir? No, I can pay it right now. No, no, no. You gotta wait. He's gotta get processed, and then you get a an invoice in the mail. So you want thirty days, forty five days? What do you want? Whatever works for the city best. Works. It, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll pay immediately if I can. As soon as you get it. Okay. So we'll just make it thirty days. That way you'll get it in between there, and you can just pay it by November 29th, Okay. Okay. All right. It won't good. be an invoice, sir. It'll be an order. Once you get that order, you're gonna go to code compliance or however they they're doing business due to COVID. <laughs> and you're gonna pay them. They're gonna generate, uh, generate an invoice for you. Do not come to the city clerk's office. I will not. Okay? All right, very good. Thank That's you, it? Sir. That's it, thank you. All right, next case. Okay, page 15, number 34. SMA 2021-027630 and 02762. There's two right, of them. 34 and 30, 35. 31 Sheridan. This is... Ma'am? Somebody here for this? Angela Peralta? Somebody? Oh, somebody. One of you. 3435. This is for 827-84. Oh, wait. 3031 oh. Sheridan. 3031 Sheridan. There's two, there's two citations. One yeah, is for 30. a BTR. The other one is for a sanitation. Okay. Just give me one second, please. Okay. Sure. Page 15, number 33 and 34. No, 30. You have, the, you have the wrong one there. You have 35 there. What? Oh. 
You were looking at the wrong. <laughs> you tied them together. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me find the right file. 33 and 34. Okay, so this is uh, SMA 2021 2762 and 2763. Um, sir, who are you? Hi, good. Can, can you ask somebody that speaks Spanish? What? Who? I, I could help him if, if nobody is raising their hand. Well, now you're going to raise your... No, they're not. They can't. They're the city. Oh, okay. I, I, I could help them. Okay. Yeah, sure. can, you, um, can you tell me your name? Patricia. Patricia what? Patricia Olison. Olison. Yes. Okay. Can you raise your right hand for me, Patricia? Do you solemnly swear that the tr translation you do today between English and Spanish and Spanish and English will be true and correct to the proceedings? Okay. Yes. I'll, yes. Yes. But I'll try because I'm not a professional. No, that's okay. As okay. long as you tell me what he says. Of course. And you tell him what I say. Yes. And the inspector. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir, what, and what is his name? Mi nombre es Ángel Peralta. Okay. And you are the property owner? ¿Eres el dueño de la propiedad? No. No. Who are you? ¿Qué, ¿Quién eres? ¿Cuál es tu eh, lo que yo estaba haciendo ahí, yo estaba viendo eh, un trabajo en esta dirección. Okay. He was looking at a job uh, at that address. Okay. Y el inspector eh, me puso una multa por, porque yo andaba con un tráiler remolcado en la camioneta. And the inspector put a violation because he was coming in with a trailer um, eh, remolcado. Es okay. Tot, tot, okay. remolcado. Uh, let, me, let me let the inspector tell me what's going on. Okay. And that way it might oh. help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope I can help. All right. Uh, my name is Code Compliance Officer Gaspar Rodriguez on behalf of the City of Miami Beach. I am the custodian of records for this case. Uh, we're, I'm going to start off with SMA 2021-02762. I'm going to start off with that one. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. That one. BTR violation. Yeah, the BTR, yeah I'm going to start off with the BTR violation. Uh, this was issued to 3031 Sheridan Avenue on the right-of-way. So he's not the property owner. He, this was issued on the public right-of-way that he was occupying. Okay. Uh, this violation was issued for violation of section 102.377, any person failing to obtain a business tax receipt as required by this article. He was uh, operating as a hauler and landscaping business without a business tax receipt of the city of Miami Beach. Okay, all right, hold on, let her translate. Did you understand any of that? Uh, somewhat. Okay. De que estabas como que en la calle, no era una propiedad. No, estabas en la calle. Sí, estaba parqueado en la calle. Sí, like I'm just telling him that it, he was parked. That's what the violation is for, not okay. that he's the, the owner of the property. All right, that's fine. Okay. But that's the, okay. the violation was because he was working in the city as a hauler. Yes, he was, yeah, he, he was servicing a property. He was engaged in business without the appropriate license. Sí, estaba trabajando en la eh, No, no, lo que él me dijo que era que ese trailer... Se usaba para, para recoger basura de demolición. Yo no hago ese trabajo. Oh, that that trailer is used for garbage and he doesn't do that type of job. So that's what the, he says that that's what the inspector told him. Él, él me dijo que, que ese trailer eran usados para ese tipo de trabajo, que yo necesitaba un permiso para andar ese trailer. Yo no hago ese trabajo. For garbage removal. And he doesn't do that type of job. But okay. the, what type of job does he do? ¿Qué o sea, ¿cuál es que eh, lo, que, lo que yo hago es jardinería. Oh, uh, gardening, uh, landscaping. Okay. So and I guess he had the wrong uh, trailer. That's what. Um, okay. Inspector. Um, so, unfortunately, he was providing a hauling jardinero y llevándote la basura que quedaba, ¿no? No. No estaba llevando basura. No. Bueno, cuando el, el inspector estaba ahí. No, yo, no, yo ni siquiera, yo lo que andaba haciendo era viendo un trabajo en ese momento. No estaba ni recogiendo basura, ni, ni nada de eso. Yeah. Honor, Solamente uh, fue que eh, andaba con el trailer pegado y me llamaron y, y viene para no ir a despegar el trailer más nada. Pero no estaba ningún, haciendo ningún trabajo de recogida de basura. So... So he said that he wasn't, he was just there uh, looking at a job. He wasn't in the art, in the act of doing the job. Fortunately, Mr. Uh, officer Gaspar, uh, Rodriguez is not the officer. The officer had to leave earlier today because of an emergency. 
He's just a custodian of record. He claims he was not doing the job. We don't have any photographs of him actually doing the job that uh, of hauling or garbage. Just that the the um, that the trailer was there. We had gotten this complaint through our through our through an email, and that's why the officer responded. And when he responded and got there, he just saw a trailer and he, I guess, assumed. So that the trailer was attached to a truck. Attached to a truck parked right outside the property that he was looking the job for. Trying to get a job at. Yeah. All right, but you have no proof of uh, this is because you're you're not the inspector who was on the job, correct? Yes, and I believe there's still another case on this as well. Okay. Yeah, there's, the yeah, there's one more case. Yeah, the companion yeah. All right. Case. So it's the same issue for the second case, which would be right. Let's hear let's hear the the second case. Right. Tell them we're, we're going to wait on the first one. Now there's two violations. We're going to hear the second one now. Hay dos violaciones. Ya la primera van a esperar porque parece que no el oficial no está aquí. No. Okay. Your Honor, okay. Um, we would like the city would like to move ahead and go ahead and dismiss the, the cases. Yes, that's what I thought. That would so. be for both, so the appeals granted. Right. Okay. Your Honor. Yeah, fini. Termino. Termino. Gracias. Gracias. But just um, Patricia or or Kenny can tell him. I'm sorry, Inspector. Can you just tell him just what he needs to be careful of doing in the city and stuff. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, Patricia. Okay, the next case. These are all screwed up. Go ahead. Who, me? No, these. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, same page, number 15, number 32, SMA 21-02650-737, Fifth Street. Under the Mango Tree LLC. Oh, yes. Welcome back. <laughs> um, just for the record, go ahead and state your name. Oh, Patricia Olesen. Okay. What's the last name? Olesen. O L E S E N. Olsen. Olesen, like with an L E. Not, not a lot of people say Olsen, but it's with an O-L-E-S-E-N. E in the middle. O L E S E N. And and you are what? Patricia? The owner of Under the Mango Tree. Okay. So let's see. Do I have an inspector here? We're calling SMA 2021-2650-737 Fifth Street. Inspector Harkin. Harkin. Jarkman. Jarkman. This is for conducting a special event without a permit, allegedly. Uh, a sp- special event? That's what, that's oh. what it looks like. Yeah, a special me. event. Let me take a look. Well, we're, they're waiting for an inspector. Your Honor, he'll be here in 10 minutes. We could reset for 10 minutes. Well, um, what I'm going to do is let me just call another case, and then I'm going to call him up and hope he's here. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. Which is on page 16, number 35, SMASA 2144 for 827-84th Street. That's you, folks. I got nothing for this, too. Okay, well, let me see. Um, sir, what, uh, hi, what is your name? Uh, Gabriel Aguado. Aguado, A-G-U-A-D-O. A-G-U-A-D-O? Yes, ma'am. Aguado. And ma'am? Julia Aguado. Julia, okay. What's the first name? Julia. Julia. Right? It's Y-U-L-I. Y-U. Y-U. That is fine, yeah. Julia. Okay. And you are the owners? Owners. Okay, Inspector. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Aaron Ramirez, Coke Plants Officer, City of Miami Beach. This is in reference to case number SV 2021-14777 at 827-84th Street, issued on June 1st, 2021. 
This is in violation of City of Miami Beach Ordinance Section 90-101 and 90-36, creation of a health hazard or nuisance. nuisance. This is the first offense, which carries a $1,000 fine and the added sanitation fees for the pickup. What, what was the nuisance? Uh, yes, yeah, so, one second. It's a sanitation fee. Uh -huh. So, on June 1st, 2021, myself and co compliance officer Blanco were doing our sanitation patrols of the area when we were flagged down by two of our sanitation department workers. They stated to us that there was a large pile of, of illegally dumped items, bulky items, um, things of that nature. We uh, headed over there to that location. Um, during our inspection, we looked, we looked at some of the boxes and we identified on one of the cardboard boxes postage that was linked to a Gabriel Agulo who was located at 827 84th Street. Uh, we then knocked on the door of the residence and uh, where did you find where, where did you find the boxes? It, it was within the pile of, I know, of but the trash. The location. Yes, yes, Your Honor. What was the location where you found the boxes? Yes, the location was seven five six eighty four Street, which is a vacant lot. It was dumped on the sidewalk of that location. Okay. And so this was a, a box. Yes, so on, it was multiple items. I have photos, if you'd like to see, to submit yeah, as evidence. I yes. would like to, actually, I would like them to see them, and then I'd like to yes. have them myself. Did you guys like to see it? the photos? No, I was there. I saw the, all the garbage. Yeah, if you'd like to look at it. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Yeah. Thank you. So we knocked on the door of Mr. Agudo's residence at 827 84th Street. We informed him that we found postage of on, on a couple, on one box, I'm sorry, that belonged to him and to his, in, in his name. We informed him of the violation. Um, the individual then started becoming irate and was becoming a little aggressive. Therefore, myself and co-compliance officer Blanco contacted our supervisor, who then contacted Miami Beach uh, PD Officer Blanco, who is with me here today. Okay. All right. So how how much how many boxes were you able to identify? Just one, Your Honor. And the other ones? The other ones they had the postage, and the other boxes were ripped off. Okay. And the furniture? And the furniture, there was no postage. It was just multiple pieces of furniture, the cardboard boxes. Um, it almost had a foul, foul odor coming from the, from the whole pile as well. Okay. So out of that whole pile, you saw one box? Yes, Your Honor. Your name on it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And, okay. and, and, and if there, I may there say... Was nothing as, else, there was nothing else identifying the other boxes, like some barcode or something like that that could have been associated with them? Uh, negative, Your Honor. However, when we did talk with them and... Mr. Agudo came over to look at the dumped pile. He did state, or they did state that, yeah, they did dump some of the boxes. No. Hold on. No, still Go ahead. And um, that they were saying that the majority of it was, was not theirs, but that they did admit to dumping some of the boxes. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, okay. First of all, they uh, knocked my, on the door of my house oh, in the morning. I opened and definitely told them nicely. I asked, how can I help you? He said, yeah, because um, you have a whole bunch of garbage over there. It's yours and we're going to give you a $1,000 ticket. He said, I, wait, 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 can you please explain this to me because I don't understand. And it's like my house is over here and the garbage is over there. I have, I have my garbage here. So wait, I don't understand. Can you please explain to me? And then, then finally, get to tell me, no, a box there with your name, one box with my name. I say, wait, wait, it's impossible. I have my garbage right here. Of course, I don't have a gate to do, uh, door in my, in my house, my new house that we just bought it. And then I say, I went over there and I, I look at the box and say, yeah, definitely, that's my box. I recognize the box and I admitted that that's my box, but I said, I didn't, I never put it there, I, never, because I didn't put it there. What, what, what happened said, maybe somebody used the box to use it for their own garbage. 
And no, they no, they say that it was me or this is mine or whatever because I Did, moved. Was, and was the box out. flattened or was it still open? Was open. It was still uh, the whole box. It it was open, Your Honor. Put together. Yes. And what was in the box? It was it was an empty. I believe it was an empty cardboard box, Your Honor. Did you see a, um, a store name or anything like that on there? I did not, Your Honor. First of all, the garbage was not empty. We found this inside the box. That's what the ladies that's right. uh, yeah. let, let me right. let me let me just say one thing. Mr. Gudo, can you speak closer to the uh, microphone? Well, please? this is up because I didn't finish there. Later when we were outside, my, by the way, the police came because I told him to call the police so he can mediate with us. Because at the point we were not uh, getting to any uh, agreement or anything. So you can't call the police because this is enough. And the police came because I told them to call them, by the way, okay? So when the police came, he was nice, the, uh, the police officer. And he agreed, this is impossible, and there's no way. They just moved here, we just bought the house, we just moved in eight days ago. And it's no way, I mean, when you move, move you in. Just, you just moved in? Yes, like eight days before, but new house empty. So we just brought was it, uh, Are you leasing it or did you buy it? We bought it, yeah. And, and then, was somebody in there before you? No, we, we we spent like a month or two months with the contract and they give us a house empty and perfect condition, new, brand new. Everything is perfect there. So we moved in with a stuff in. So it's like we need to throw furniture. I mean, okay. how come? All right, so before you bought it, people were living there? No, no. It was already empty since the day they posted it, like three months before. March, March, March. March 8, March 7, they posted the painted, house. It was already painted, everything. clean, beautiful, yeah. empty. We, yeah. we saw it next day yeah. after Even they posted. Even in Silo, it's uh, pictures in Silo okay. with, the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the house okay. empty, ready to, to move then. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the sanitation cleanup fee? Yes, the fees that sanitation added for the pickup would be seven hundred and fourteen dollars and seventy five cents. Seven one four? Yes, Your Honor. Seven one four and seventy five cents. Um Officer, did you want to say anything? Sure. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, my name is Officer Julio Blanco. I'm a twenty three year veteran of the Miami Beach Police Department. Um, of those 23 years, I've been assigned as the liaison to the sanitation department as a police liaison for the purposes of investigating illegal dumping. Um, and that's because illegal dumping is a huge problem in North Beach. I, um, I responded to this location, Your Honor, at the request of code because they were out trying to uh, do their sanitation inspections and they came across that pile. Um, uh, when I was contacted, I was told, can you come over? This person's a little bit agitated, getting aggressive. Uh, I said, yeah, I'm close by. I'll make a stop. Um, when I got there, um, we got everybody separated, calmed down a little bit, and I began my inspection. My inspection revealed, Your Honor, that uh, this is simply a case of two neighbors that dumped on the, on the right-of-way. And uh, he claims it was only one box. I went to, he, he claims it was a person at 808-84 Street. I made contact there. They're saying both of them dumped all that furniture there. So it's a case of back and forth. Um, clearly, the evidence on the site indicated that at least one box was, in fact, did come from their house. They did indicate that they had just moved in and were, had bought some new furniture. Um, we so, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. They did indicate to me that they had bought some new furniture that they were just new to the neighborhood. Um, and again, we what, what was clear is that they had some fault in that in that in that pile. How much of it was theirs is unknown. The neighbor that they claimed through that, and I believe that there was a second person involved in that dump. They're claiming that they were the ones that threw that out there. So. Um, that's kind of, he said, she said, but both of them had fault on that. Um, the one so, thing that... Um, excuse me one second. So the neighbor across the street or which, wherever it was, at did they admit to throwing trash there as well? No, they're saying it was them. So uh, All them. Right. That, okay. that they had nothing to do with it. Although I will say that uh, I've been doing it for a long time. The, uh, the piles didn't match. Some of, some of it appeared to be coming from one location. The other stuff was a little older, maybe right. coming from the other location. Right. Um, the, the one thing that, that um, I will say, Your Honor, is that when, when you don't intend to illegally dump, in my experience, um, people put it out in front of their house. Um, and, and whether that they call for a pickup or not and they, they fail to do that administrative part, you know, I can understand why somebody can mess up that's new to the neighborhood. But they didn't put it in front of the house. They walked it over half a block and threw it uh, on an empty yard. And, 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 to, yeah. and to me, that sets a little bit of a guilty mind 
of you know why if you if you think you didn't warn anything wrong why did you just put it in front of your house and call for a pickup if why in did fact you walk it was it all theirs what's that if in fact it was all theirs correct correct okay. so uh, so your honor it's it's two people that dumped maybe three people that dumped but um that can never be the excuse where hey somebody dumped before me so i can just dump there and that's the reason why we proactively do this because garbage brings more garbage yeah I know. and at the end of the day it blights the city blights the neighborhood i explained to them that that's a blight to their neighborhood and they should have taken advantage of, of, a, of a free pickup that they're entitled to a few times a year. If they, if they needed it, correct. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I've been with the city several times on different occasions, or for several years on different occasions. So, um, okay. Can I please say something? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, when we were outside talking about all this situation, one of the neighbors that uh, we don't even know who they are because we just moved in, Went to him and I said, no, they, they, they didn't do any of that. And as a matter of fact, I called over the weekend to you, to, to the police, because to report that these people was throwing garbage in there. And he, the, the neighbor even appointed to him the apartment and the person who lived. And guess what we found inside the box? Our box. The, the, the neighbor that says that she didn't do it. See, same apartment, same Margarita. name. Margarita. And, and, we, did, and, we, did, and we did cite that person, Everything so we issued two violations. So for... For this, for this violation, there are two violators? Correct. We found the second violator that, you know, the people that are pointing at each other, they both got violations because they both had, had to do with that dump. So it wasn't, it wasn't just we were picking on him and didn't believe him versus the other. No, both people got violations. Okay. Inspector, did you, are you walking over to join in? Your Honor, City of Miami's Co-Compliance Officer Blanco. Um, we did issue the next uh, violation, which was SV 2021-14786, which was issued to the individual that had all the documentation also discarded and all the other items that were discovered. So we addressed both issues. Um, that prior case is invoice pending at this time. They did not get appealed, so it's separate. Is invoice pending? Correct. On our side. But the, did they didn't both. appeal, they, and their time for appeal Correct. is over? Yes, correct. And what did they get charged with sanitation-wise? Uh, I'd have to take a look at the fee. The full amount? Mm -hmm. I'd have to take a look like at that. it. Like that? Mm -hmm. So it's the same look. fine, same... Let me review yeah, it, and I'll let you know. Okay, double check. Wait. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, just give me one second. Yes. He's going to look for that. Great. Inspector Varela, is your, is your uh, inspector here? He's, uh, he's coming upstairs now, you know. Okay. If not, I'll just I'll stand in for him as custodian. All right. Okay. This is um, his evidence. What's the Your Honor, there is no pickup fee. It is the fine for the fourth width, which is the 1000 Because it was assessed originally, and the violation for the first violation, it was issued with a pickup fee, and it was addressed. And then once we did more research, we went ahead and we issued to the both individuals. The final. Please, they, 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 they was giving it all to me, and later when they found out that I really made a big deal about it, because we send everything we, we to the city. We send the mails to the city. To the city. I can name to all whom the I send the and mails. And then start running. To Aurora Ramirez. They didn't know this. Listen, listen. You see? Natasha Byers. Yeah, yeah, please. She got a violation as well. What day did she get the violation? I don't know what day it was. It's important. It's okay, Julia. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Hello? 
Once they found out, they cited her as well. They gave yeah. her a violation. So she has a violation, a $1,000 fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm struggling with is charging them the full pickup. Yeah, because I don't want to say see the box. If I always say yes, that's one of my box. I recognize the box right away, and I even told him that's my box. But how did you get there? I, I you know, you know, work by himself. And yes, like I'm repeating that I just moved there, and I have my garbage inside my property, but it's no gate. Like people usually use these empty boxes to throw stuff. You know, usually that's what and they do. And we have a video I can of all it. her letters in our box. Yeah. Right. Didn't turn on my mic. Um, let me just, in case you didn't hear for the record, what I said before is I don't want to charge one group the full cleanup fee if there's two uh, violators, you know. Um, don't leave the box whole. Fold up the box, put it in a stack. If you have more than one, or cut it up, put it in your recycle. It's recyclable, right? Put it in your recycle bin, I think. Yeah, that's city. what we're doing now. And that's all you need to do, and you're done. If you see there's boxes gone from your yard, go, uh-oh, there's yeah. boxes gone. No, we, and go we, look for them. Not, we are ripping it all off now, and then uh, we are in the, in the, you know, working I, with the city to get the permit to put the, the, near, the gate okay. in front of our property. That's going to help. Yeah, so um, I, I, um, I understand the situation. I'm sorry that, that it happened, but there was a box with your name on it. You know, I've seen this for years and years and years. And it's, it's hard to say who put it, who didn't put it. He said, she said, you know, we all say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deny your appeal. I'm going to find that it happened. I'm going to waive the fine, but I'm going to charge you half of what the pickup fee is. And that would be $357.38. I agreed. Okay. Because of the box, So I when guess. do you want to pay that by? Um, you'll get an invoice or you'll get an order. Order. From um, sanitation. No, from, from me. code, from her, <laughs> from, me. from her, <laughs> from somebody. You're gonna get an yes. order. Thirty days, forty-five days. What do you want? Thirty days is fine. Okay, thirty days takes it to November 29th, so right after Thanksgiving. Definitely, yes, we are. Uh, you good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Your Honor, okay. just for clarification for the order, you're denying the appeal, adjudicating them guilty, waiving the fines, and assessing half the exactly sanitation violation. Exactly what I said. Violation. That's exactly what I said. Okay, just wanted to make sure, because I didn't hear the adjudication. Yes. 357.38. Okay. Well, I, I didn't use the word adjudication. I said, you did it. Okay. <laughs> I'll be the lawyer and use the legal term then. I'll right, just one more question. Uh, how much is going to be uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the fee? 357.38. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Definitely. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you Thank so you much. so much. Thank I appreciate you, it. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Patricia, you're up. And remind me what case this is again. Oh, this is under the mango tree, right? Yes. All right, let me just get the file again. Okay. So, so this is page 15, yes. number 32, SMA 2102650, being recalled. Correct, 737 Fifth Street. Okay, Patricia, you're still under oath. Inspector, you're still under oath. All right, tell me what happened here, Inspector. So, on uh, June 2nd, 2021, the officer, um, Sartoretto, responded to an email complaint, referenced a, a business that had their furniture out on the, um, on the front of their uh, business. So they were basically operating a sour cafe at 737 Fifth Street, uh, which at the time would have required a, since we're in COVID, it would be a special event permit to utilize the right of way. Unfortunately, they did not have one at the time. And this was for under the mango tree. Mm -hmm. um, so it says here that the officer, when he arrived, he conducted the inspection and he spoke with the manager on duty. Um, and one, also one of the employees met with him and that they stated that the owner was on her way, and I'm guessing you're the owner. Mm -hmm. um, and while he was waiting, he asked for their BTR to see if it was allowed to have tables outside, which, uh, or a sour cafe permit, which they did not have, correct? Mm -hmm. um, the, the, she stated that, that she had applied for a permit, 
but that she never got a response. Now, checking the permit, there was a permit applied for, but it was applied for two days after this violation was issued on the 4th. And it's still in applied status as we speak. Um, the violation was issued for conducting a special event in this case because it would be the permit that you would be required to have in order to have the Sour Cafe. You want to give those uh, pictures, show them to her? Yes, right? you can show them. Give them to Cindy there. Uh, the special event permit would be what you would be required to have in order to have this kind of setup. Now, Thank half that idea. cafe was also on the green space area, which is the grass which they would not allow you to do that anyway. Now, just uh, keep in mind that this is the first offense for this business. They don't have, their code history only has this case on it. And what's the fine? The, th the fine is $1,000, and they have complied since then. They have removed the furniture. Okay. Ms. Olison. Um, yes, everything he says is true. <laughs> and... Um, I, I was just in a shock that there was no warning, like I told the officer, the inspector, I'm sorry, um, because I would have thought, when, I, um, when COVID hit, I applied for that BTR, it, like much before, so I, I don't know if I understood correctly that he said I applied two days after. For the, for the special event permit. Oh, to, have, to have your um, oh, okay. tables outside. Oh, okay, no, because... I didn't know there was a special, that's why I got caught up with the special event. I, I didn't think that that's what I had to apply for. I thought it was for outdoor sitting. That's what I would like to apply for, to have it not just for a special event, but for my cafe. Um, so that, that's why I'm confused. Maybe I did it wrong. And I have to say, on, I'm going to be honest, it's very overwhelming, all these permits. I, I, I mean, I've done the permits from day one and everything's clear, but the outdoor always has been really hard for me since I'm the owner, I'm, I'm the manager, I'm the cleaner, everything. Right. And I've been residing in South Beach for 23 years. So it's, it, it was like I told the, the inspector that I felt that a warning would, would be fair and, and I took it out immediately. And um, so, so I have not gotten my, the permit yet. Okay. Your Honor, um, like I said, I just want to re reiterate, um, they, they did comply the same day. They picked up the furniture. They do have their, they do have their BTRs active. They maintain it active. They, you know, we never had an issue. They've never had a code issue before. This is the first time for this business. And um, like I said, there's no other code history for them. Okay. Inspector, did you want to say anything, or do you think... Uh Inspector Varela did okay. He's just a okay. custodial record. He's not. The, he's okay. just in charge of the case. So you think he did okay? You think Varela? I did okay? You think Varela did an okay job? They did okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sort of. I say so. I've been but doing a little bit. Good answer. Was he the, was he the inspector that day? Oh, because I don't reckon. I'm like I was confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deny your appeal. You admitted that it did happen, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm going to adjudicate. Love those legal words. I'm going Thank to adjudicate, and, uh, but I'm going to waive the fine. Okay, because you complied right away, because you have your BTR in order and things like that. If you need to do it again, you need to have a permit prior to. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can speak with the inspectors or the city, you know, to help you through and see what you need to do to be able to have outdoor seating. I have, um, and maybe this is something I, I have to speak with somebody else because I've called many times in the, the little time I have. And it's very, especially now after COVID, um, before when I used to do my permits, I used to come in the offices. Yeah, now you can't. Email. And it's very hard for me to, to they're like, oh, first call, call this, then call public records because you need to change now your public BTR work. in full. Public works, yeah. And then get every inspection. So it's, it's I would need just a full-time job for, and, and then a runner would be like half of my salary of a year. So right. I, I think if, if there's any program that you know that helps small businesses with of, of minorities, of single moms or anything, that would be really helpful. I don't personally. She I, could, yeah, she could get in contact with our office. Uh, any of the supervisors or officers that work for us will be more than happy to uh, give you any information that you would need in order to yeah. expedite your what you would need to apply. But also, she's looking for some um, programs, assistance programs that assistance. might be able to help her um, uh, minority business owners 
things like that. She might be able to get in contact with someone in the Chamber of Commerce. I think they'll probably yeah, be the best. Or through our cultural and economic development, there might be grant money available that they have there programs for and things it's, like yeah, that. Yeah, it's more, it's more that, um, that the process of it is for somebody to, it sounds like, you know, but some, somebody sits down and it's just like, okay, these are the first few things you have to do in order to, like, these are the applications, well, you know? Well, I think, I think the uh, yes. inspector's I'll, I'll office can help you with that. But I as will. far as getting some assistance yeah. with, you know, some help of some Monetary. kind or a grant or something okay. along those lines mm -hmm. to help, you know, pay for some of these fees as well that you're going to have to pay. Um, yeah, we'll give her that information okay. to the TCED or Chamber of Commerce. Right. I appreciate okay. it. Thank Perfect. you, Joanna. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Thank, thank you for you, your Anna. help today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, inspectors. Thank you. Okay, we have one no-show which is SMA 2021 ending in 2480 for the property address of 42 Star Island Drive. Uh, they withdrew. I got an email okay, um, this mind. afternoon from uh, Mickey Romero, uh, Marrero, okay. who said that they withdrawn their appeal and they've paid for the fine. Okay, good. That's easy. And they also have two cases. Yep, and um, I got an email last night from um, Swickers. Swickus. And they withdrew because there were two different attorneys. Which one is that one? on these cases? That would be 41 and 42, Your Honor, at 6 p.m. S M S M N. I'm not at 6. Right. S I've oh. already taken care of That's those. That's magistrate. Oh, okay. Candace. Those I took care of. So those are withdrawn also. Yes. And then, Your Honor, we just have that one housekeeping matter oh, for nine right o'clock. If you wanted to go back to it. So back on the record um, from the nine o'clock calendar, S M B. 2019 ending in 559 with a property address of 630 79th Street. Um, I'm going to reset this for service. The address on the envelope um, I need, I know that this was posted, but the owners live in California. Um, the address on the envelope is incorrect. It should be 38 Sierra Way. Rancho Mirage, California, 92270. So let's um, reset that on. Um, what, what date? January? Um, no, February. February what? February 10th. 10th. For February 10th, 2022. Cindy, the address came out wrong when it was printed. Yeah, that's all Sierra good. Way is two separate words, and it, there were extra letters in there, so it well, was... Hold the phone because I think I, I, I think I saw this initially and if I'm not by, by and I'm quite sure I corrected it. Not on the envelope, it's, on the it's envelope, not. But I, okay. I see it on the envelope. Okay. So that's all. Okay. I think. Oh. We're adjourned. I keep running into. The, oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> I we're <didn't>. done. <laughs>